welcome back to another video. Oh, apologies for the hair, it's a whole thing. But Mason's having a nap and I wanted to take a seat and candidly speak to you about 10 things I feel changed in myself, in my life, as a mother. I don't get very many opportunities to sit down and speak as freely as this, so I hope you can take something from it. Number one, friendships. The first thing that changed after I announced I was pregnant was friends. I had people in my life, not all, vanished. Some friends just completely disappeared. They have their own demons with children, I suppose. I don't know what went wrong. They either don't want to have their own children, they don't like children in general. However, I didn't feel it was fair to cut me out of their life. I would still be able to reply and reply to text messages and communicate and still see you, still be your friend. Half of what I had before are not the same friendship groups I have now. I do have more mum friends now actually you kind of lead that way when you go to play groups and you have sort of events that you go to with that are more baby based it does get lonely sometimes being a mum because you don't always have a lot of friends to choose from when it comes to speaking about your problems i bet a lot of people only know what they do because they're still on facebook some friendships deteriorated because i put a lot of time like a lot of time into my newborn son. I couldn't just leave everything and go out as and when. I couldn't stay out for as long as I used to be able to. Conversation changes, what you talk about changes. And I think some people just weren't ready for our friendship to change. Jobs. My entire career has changed. I've gone from working full time with a secure monthly income to part time with half of what I would earn each month. It's tough. When you've got the same amount of bills you paid as a full-time person with half of your earnings is really tough. I just about cover the bills and pay what I would prioritise for our family. My job, what I did before isn't the same thing, it's a completely different company. My job is not what I did before, believe me. Three, finances. Not only do you earn less if you change the hours you work, not everybody does but I did, Everything that you spend your money on is different now. Where before I would buy lovely body creams and Lush products and clothes and day trips to places that I like to go, now goes towards baby clothes. They grow out of them so fast. A lot of it went on formula and bottles, toys that they grow out of really quickly too. Number four, sleeping. I've always been a really good sleeper, no matter what what thoughts are bouncing around in my head, what stresses I'm living through for that day. As soon as my head touches the pillow, at the end of the day, I am gone. Nine hours solid, except when Mason came. With a newborn, they're awake for feeding every four hours. Each time you get back into your deep sleep, you're woken back up with a scream. When they're a little bit older, they get put into their own room. So when you're woken up, you've then sort of got to be really alert and jump out and run across the hallway and then do everything you've got to do. Feeding, rocking back to sleep. It's exhausting. Mason is 17 months now, so he does sleep from seven to half four, half five. That means I now have to sleep kind of earlier to be awake earlier. It's so much better now, but still so hard. Five, holidays, bank holidays, weekends. Any minute you have free is no longer all about you. If you want to go on holiday you need to decide where you're going is it child friendly is it cost effective do i have that much spending money what's the weather like will the child get too hot will the child get too cold weekends you can't just have a lay in anymore you can't sleep into whatever time you like get up entertain your child and whatever activity you plan for that day needs to accommodate them number six general day-to-day -day things such as eating with two hands, bathing. Not only are you doing it all for yourself, you're now having to do it twice. To get dressed, you need to dress them. You need to wash, you need to wash them. You eat, they eat. You're living two lives. Number seven, your physical appearance will change. I was very happy with my body before Mason. I was, you know, fitting into my jeans just comfortably. Now, Although I'm not complaining because I love my stretch marks. I have stretch marks I didn't before. A mum tum, my thighs are thicker, my boobs are lower, my hair is falling out, my skin is oilier. Do you see where I'm going with this? 
Number eight, mental state will change as well. You will experience happiness that you never felt before, reach levels of anger that you never thought you could. <laughs> you, de you develop calm, you develop a different sense of life. Everything that you thought were important before, just maybe they're not so much, or maybe things you didn't worry about before, now you do. Nine. Not only have you changed physically, mentally, but everything around you will probably change too. You need to safety proof your house. The furniture you buy must now accommodate all of their extra things. Your furniture may get dirty, walls are going to be drawn on, cupboards will be emptied. Everything that you have will be relocated if you haven't relocated it yourself. And number 10 your world your foundations everything that you've ever known will be different because for me i feel like after having mason the person i thought i was going to be as a mum i've achieved a lot of it but not all i would say things like i'm never going to lose my patience i lose it a lot i used to say things like i'm always going to have a tidy organized house i don't having said all that I'd do it again and again and again although everything I've listed may put you off everything I've mentioned isn't put together to put a negative cloud over having children it's a reality these things will affect you if and when they do it will be worth it you'll understand why people do it more than once more than twice when you've had your child out of love your world becomes love, it's surrounded by love and little things like having to feed him while you eat is nothing. But be ready for it, ready to change how you do it all and be ready to change who you do it all for. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way. If you are an expecting mum, this is basically 10 things that I can list for you that changed me as a mother, as a person. See you in the next one.